it's now about 4 50 and I've got like 10 minutes to get into the door and text my grand what time we're um getting out today and with this pillow put my coat on it's easier to carry than to wear it so today I, my outfit is or was inspired by by lady lovely locks but the shirt I had did not fit so this was a backup so this isn't very lady love locks the nails are there you go okay so I gotta what have I, have I got my shirt on right the thing on right what have I done here got my sleeve caught up great or the one day I have to get gas is the day there will be like a traffic jam coming up here, so yay. Okay, bye. Alright, so right now it's 10.05 p.m. and I'm sitting in the my works parking lot getting ready to head home. Um, so today was okay. Um, got a bunch of people in their 80s. And apparently that is the age group where we don't understand or maybe can't hear the 1 to 10 scale. Okay, when someone asks you for a on a scale of 1 to 10, just give me a number. I don't care what it is. No, we had to talk about anything and everything pertaining to, like, they would not give me an answer for anything, which is awesome. Um, one guy was mad at me and gave everything, like, a 1 or a 2. I'm like, I don't care. I'm like, hey, I'm getting a survey done. I don't care. Okay. And so, I mean, it was okay. I mean, actually, I think mostly I met my surveys per hour quota, except for, like, like 7 o'clock seems to be answering machine hour for some reason. I don't think I don't care. Um, I will say this. If you sound like the love child of Boom Hour and Brad Pitt's character from Fight Club, you will not be able to participate in the survey. Don't know if the dude was drunk off his ass or had a stroke or if I got swamp people on the phone. No idea what that dude said. But that was amusing, so I'm like, okay, thank you, and I rescheduled him to a day that I wasn't working. Because I'm fun like that. Okay. And I'm going to go. Got to head home. Alright. So it's 11, 11 p.m. And yeah, okay. So this is the outfit I wound up in today. Um, the shirt I was going to wear, which is turned inside out. Is, let me fix it. Hold on. I'm, I'm always so totally prepared. Um, yeah, today's outfit was a bit of a fail. And turn this inside out and have to give this shirt to somebody. It's got a few, it has a few minor stains on it, but it's like ones you can't really see unless you go like really close to it. Like, so this was the shirt I was going to wear. See, it's got like the little, there's not really like a cross hatch pattern, but it's the closest thing I have to one. So, and it was like quarter sleeve shirt. So that's what I was going to wear today. It's a little snug. Especially since I had, I was going to wear this under it. Uh, I think it's going to be snug if I wear like this under it or not. So I think my friend Tiffany may get that shirt because um, yeah, didn't realize it'd been a while since I worn it. Um, it's got a dry cleaning tag from I don't, I don't know when this was washed, but there you go. Anyhow, so there's that. I've already mentioned my adventures in. Um, call center work, whatever, call center, whatever it is I do, I don't know. So, like, sit, listen to the phone ring for five hours is basically what I'm doing right now. Yeah, it's, I feel like I need more than the eight bucks an hour it pays, but, you know, I just plan to stay there long enough and to get myself out of the little financial hole I've created, or at least until I get fired because I can't come to work because of snow or whatever. So I'm just going to tough this out to the end of the year, I think. Or maybe sometime next year. I don't know how long this is going to be. I really don't care. Um, but like right now, I'm like, because it's like already October, so at the end of October, then we got like, you know, it's like, I don't really want to be looking for a job right now. I mean, I have one. Eh, kind of. I mean, I, yeah, technically it's a job. I mean, it didn't pay enough, but it pays. Haven't gotten a paycheck yet, so we'll we'll see how that goes. Can't remember when I get paid. I thought I got paid once a week. Maybe it's once every other week. I cannot remember. I have to look into that. Figure that out. So, my grand is not very good with her phone, and she checks her email on her phone. And I'm like, I'm the. I think I'm the one that set it up, and like, whenever she has problems and getting her emails to load, like I'm the one like gets her emails loaded in there's like some little refresh button thing she like I don't know why she can't hit it but apparently it works when I hit it I don't know 
So, you know, she'll be the phone, and I'll fix, I'll, go, I'll fix her emails, get them to come in, you know. And I noticed when, like, so, so, you know, I can see her emails when I actually get them to, like, her, get her phone to retrieve her emails. Apparently, my grands joined Facebook. So, um, <clears throat> this should be interesting. I've changed my privacy settings for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, that's a little annoying little blemish there. It's, like, bugging me. So I've, I've got to go back in and make sure that, like, I have the privacy settings so, like, it doesn't show anything. Because, like, there's some stuff she don't need to know. You know, just... And know, like, some of you, like, I don't know who watches my videos. Like, some of y'all might, you know, be kids living at your parents' house. You know, or maybe you're grown and you're in college but you're still at home. So, I mean, like, there's just some stuff, you know, you don't need people in the same household as you knowing. It's just not their business. You know, nothing bad. Just doesn't concern them, that sort of thing. So I get to change my privacy settings, yay. Because I don't need to play 20 questions with who all I have on my Facebook status. Because you just, yeah, no. We ain't going into that. <clears throat> so thankfully I do not work tomorrow. Tomorrow I get to play Find the Dog Holler that my dog lost like three days ago when I tried to put a fake... <coughs> so... <coughs> So a while back, I took an old Harley Davidson t-shirt and made it into a little dog leash because I didn't want to lose a good one. And put it, I managed to, like, so I made the leash, it just braided, it's like, the leash was just a long braided t, like, t-shirt scraps. Put it on this, was it carabiner? Or car, how do you, there's little um, mountain climbing clippy things that you're not actually supposed to use for mountain climbing, like those keychain things. Took that, tied it to one of those, hooked it to the dog hauler, and just, you know, picked picked the leash up to get my, I'm just trying to get my dog used to the feeling of a leash. Freaks it, go, my dog goes complete ape shit. Bolts up, bolts down the, through the yard, but mind you, this is like one o'clock in the morning, so, yay. Midnight one, I don't know when it was. And left, usually he'll, he'll wander back up, and you know, and I can like, you know, unclip the leash, but no, he, every time I got near him, he freaked out again. And I didn't see him until the next day when his leash and collar both were gone, so. It's probably in the woods somewhere. I have no idea. It rained recently, too, so that's going to be fun. <clears throat> I mean, like, re it rained, like, since he's lost his collar. Um, it was, like, so, I mean, the collar itself was probably wet, and, yeah. So, anyhow, the t-shirt was a hand-me-down from an old co-worker. Um, that I never, like, I never actually wore the shirt. I'm like, oh, hey, this is neat. Like, maybe it'll fit. And I have to put it on it. And it did not work for me. So I turned it into a dog, um, leash. No loss there. The collar was a $3 deal from Walmart. So if I don't find it, I'm at a $3, $3 loss. The, um, well, no, a little bit more. I had one that was like, it's little Pebble Bee tracking devices that was like $11. Granted, I paid for it with an app. So I didn't really pay for it. The app did. Um, the okay, the Pebble Bee is like a little Bluetooth tracking device. I was going to try to keep up with where my dog was. The range is like so tiny. It's like it, it didn't work. Like it would be good. The Pebble Bee. Um, I think it's a Pebble Bee Stone. I'm not sure which one it was. Be good for your car keys. If like you if you're constantly losing your car keys, yeah, it'd be good. But if you have a dog that wanders the entire neighborhood. Not not so much, so that was a fail. I don't really care if I get that or not. Plus, the app took up way too much room on my phone. So, like, I had like I, I don't even have the app on my phone anymore. So, so much for that one. Mm. Let's see what else. I'm gonna do some more genealogy. I have, excuse me. Um, a drink down here. It's like. A, I mean, like, allergies or something. So, I have been using Ancestry.com and Facebook to try to figure out how I'm related to certain people on Facebook. So, yeah, um, I think that's another video I should do next year. How to, because, like, I'm sorry, my nose, like, really stopped up. Um, because a lot of the time on Ancestry, it's like, okay, so on Ancestry.com, you do not need a subscription to get your results, and by this I mean you're like, see who, see your ethnicities, that sort of thing. I think you actually do need a subscription to see your um, matches.
because I because I was told I did not need a subscription to just see my matches. Um, that's wrong. You do need one. I mean, sort of, you can see them, but you cannot see how you're related to anybody, which is completely useless. So, I mean, yeah. So, okay. So, once you get your Ancestry.com DNA results, and you've gotten your subscription for what, like, you know, half year, year, U.S., world, Canadian, whatever, I don't know how the Canadian or whatever other countries works. So once you get that, you know, you'll go into your matches and you'll, like, try to, because, like, some, like, a great deal of people have not bothered to attach their family tree to their results, which is, you'll have, like, six, you have, like, 1,075 results, and 325 will actually have a tree attached, most trees of which will be, like, four people, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, so, a lot of the trees on Ancestry.com are actually, at least in my case, incredibly unhelpful. Um, you should have, if you're going to do Ancestry.com and you have a tree, like you, if you know your family tree, you need to attach, and you actually have it on there, you need to attach it to your to your DNA results properly. Um, to be fair, that one is kind of complicated. I, I, might, I might go into that later. I don't know. It's my, it might have changed since I've done it. But you actually need to attach your tree to your DNA pro DNA results if you do that. Okay. So, and, okay. So, and you should have at least six generations back if you can. Like, I know some people don't know that far back. That's perfectly understandable. Okay. Two. If the person is deceased, mark down deceased. Because if you have them as living, then the, then the name will just show up as private. I clearly it's like ancestry doc, like ancestry user 175 parents private private grandparents private 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 it's like I can't that does nothing for me I have no idea how we're related um so you'll have those who just private everybody or they'll just have their parents name or one parent's name you know I'm like or like not helpful to me at all or anybody at all not even your not even themselves. Now, some, in some cases, they'll have, you can go into their thing and they'll have, like, a little drop-down menu where you can, like, click down, click a little thing, and, like, their tree, show, their, 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 their tree or trees will show up there. Usually, you can tell which tree is the one that's attached to this, that DNA profile because the name, like, the usernames match, like, the last names and stuff, usually. Um, yeah, but sometimes, um, there will be absolutely no tree attached at all. And so you'll have to use shared matches to figure out how you're related, which is kind of what I'm doing now. It's like, okay, like, this person has this name, and they're from this area. And let's see if, if I have this person's name with no tree showing up in my cousin's tree, like my cousin, who I, who I have also found on Facebook. I just brain farted there. So, I know I'm not wording that like great right now this isn't gonna be this is not the video for that really this is just kind of a thing I might do later and you know me I'll probably forget this so if sometime next year I've forgotten about this somebody just link me back this point like hey you hey, back during this time you said you're gonna do this so why haven't you done this cuz I'll do it then cuz I have a crap memory but yeah so I'm like right now I not literally right now but I have found a cousin through my dad's mother's mother's side, so like, yeah, and like I'm just trying to figure out how I figure out how we're related, but yeah, excuse me. Like, God, my mouth is like so dry. Like, I can't even work up enough spit to swallow anymore. That's so random, but and disgusting. But there you go. That's how dry the office I work in is. Drinking Pepsi doesn't help. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, the, as, as far as the office goes, it's really dry in there. Like, you, you're parched all the time. Like, you can't even work up enough spit to swallow. Never mind that... Like, you, like we're not allowed to have food at, at, our, at our table, at our cubicles. We can have drinks with lids and hard candy. 
Now, the thing about hard candy, while it does, you know, make your mouth not as dry and it does a better job than water or drink for some reason, is, okay, people on the phone who actually answer the phone don't give me enough time to spit, like, I don't have time to spit my candy out when I'm talking to them, like, because I've noticed if I have, like, a piece of candy in my mouth, just not, just, you know, to not, like, and just to be able to swallow and able to speak properly, like, if they, like, if I take a split second to swallow or spit my candy out, and it's not like a, it's more like a, just no sound whatsoever, they're gone. Like, if you, just let the phone ring. Like, why are you even answering the phone? Like, it's clear, like, I'm, again, I'm not going to say the name or name of our company, but it's clear, like, we're in a, like a survey company. It doesn't say survey on it. But it's not, we don't show up as your best friend's names. So like, if you're not going to do the thing, like, if you're a person who doesn't answer, like, telemarketers or survey calls, why are you picking up? You know? Like, okay, this video's gone on a tangent. And I've still got to um, edit some videos. I've got one video that I'm going to have to put out of order because if I put it on for the day that it happened it would be too obvious of where I live because like we had an event occur back earlier this year that ended up on the news like right in like right really close to where I'm at I'm like we're gonna so I'm gonna have one video toward at, like at the end of all this that would have occurred like sometime before October yeah I'm not gonna go into when so yeah, um, actually since I'm not, I'm just going to put it at the end, it was a tornado. We had a tornado hit on our street. Um, we were unaffected, but yeah, so I'm going to have a video of tornado damage later in the year. So that should be interesting. Um, well, sort of. Uh, because, one, I did not get the, I did not get footage of the tornado. My butt was downstairs in a basement hiding. Okay, so I'm like, I'm not that kind of, I'm not that dumb. Um, okay, so did not have any clue the tornado hit when um, we, you know, came out of the basement and, like, started looking around because my, my I was at my grandparents' house and, like, our, their land is, like, we have, like, the, you know, the land, the pond, and there's, like, trees surrounding, so we can't see squat. But, like, later on during, <clears throat> during the day, we went up the road to see and it was, like, the trees were just, ch like, just, like just cut, just cut off like right across the this right, yeah it was a mess. Um, it was like just whole chunk of trees down, um, houses damaged, and like you know things like it, you'll see it later. Um, not too sh um, it's like I kind of like we basically rubbernecked through the storm damage like. Just like kind of, you know, because you, when you have a storm in here, you kind of want to go drive through and like see how, see what happened, how things are. And what bugs me is like, you know, we just basically rubbernate. I thought, you know, that my grandparents would want to help their neighbors just do something. But we did nothing to help anyone. Granted, they didn't really need our help because like the community, it, it was in the next, it's actually the next county over because like I am, I, like we kind of live towards at the county border. And so, like, like the people, they they were fine. I mean, over. I mean, their house got destroyed, but in terms of insurance and having people help them and rebuilding, they're fine there. But my family did squat all to help them. I'm like, I kind of felt bad about that. But then again, like, I'm not a builder. I'm not a like. I don't do anything like that. So what would I even do? You know. So I'm just like, I felt bad about not doing anything. But but at the same time, there was I didn't know what I could do. You know. But anyhow, and so there's going to be a video of that with, complete with grandparent commentary, which is, uh, which I usually try to hide in my videos, because, uh, it's, um, yeah, because, you know, when your grandparents have lived in a certain area for a long time, they can bring up, like, random names and things, like, they'll just start talking openly about anything and everything, and, like, you're like, hey, you, you, you don't need to hear that, so, and I have... So I'm like, look at there. It's like a slide. My grand, my pop went. Look at there. Like, like you know, tree. Like, I can't do this. I can't do southern grandpa voice. But there's a lot of that in there. And yeah. So 
yeah, that's also kind of why, ooh, this video is almost at 20 minutes, I've been rambling a long time. Man, if you're still watching, yay. Um, yeah, so, like, of the few, like, riding along or driving, well, not driving along, but, like, right going down the road videos I do, the reason I have music on there, well, besides for copyright, is my grand talks the entire time, and I'm not exaggerating. Excuse me. And it's like, and she'll go and talk about, you know, this, this person, that person, ask me questions, I'm like, I'm filming, and it's like, you know, like, hey, again, YouTube doesn't need to know that. It's even more fun, okay, and I know, and I'm not, I'm, okay, yeah, I'm kind of lagging on my grand for this, but I know there's other people that do this, but does anyone else out there have those people that, when you want to film something, let's say you're driving somewhere you've never been, you see this really nice, nice or, like, maybe there's horses running in a field, and you want to get a quick video of the horses running in the field, or whatever, just, you want to film something for a few minutes, or a few seconds, you, and you're like, okay, play, like, and you tell people, okay, I'm filming right now, please don't talk, because I, you know, just, however you want to word it, and you start filming, that two seconds later, someone's running their yap, it's like, I just, I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm filming, and they'll, they'll start talking, it's like, talking about, like, your neighbor Bob's hemorrhoids or something, I'm like, why, it's like, it's always something, it's like they forget instantly, and it's always something that nobody needs to know or care about. You know, like, and by the way, I do not have a neighbor named Bob. At least I don't think I do. I have no idea. Don't know, don't care about us. I know it's like, my shot shadow's like, kind of leaving my face right now. It's like, yeah, it's like all running. No, not running, it's like nearly wiped off. And, yeah, I need to do something more interesting for these videos. And my outfit. And blue jeans, which is incredibly lady lovely locks -ish. Yeah, today's outfit was a teetotal fail. And I don't wear earrings because I have to wear those big head, those headsets that work. I don't know what I'm going to do for tomorrow, anything. I mean, out outfit-wise. Hmm. I'll figure something out. I don't know. Anywho, so this video is long enough. And if you're still watching, I'm highly impressed. And I'm going to go. Bye.